Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So I had a question from one of my subscribers a few minutes ago and they asked me, Dilmer, how do you overcome the fears of releasing a game? And I want to really tell you that I was one of those people, you know, when I was working on Stigman World, when I first started making games, I was really afraid of even posting something in social media. I was afraid of people telling me, you know, Dilmer, that game sucks, so that game is not, is not good. What are you doing? Are you wasting your time? So having those fears is completely normal. So let me actually give you four different tips to making sure that you, ha you don't have those fears and you actually focus on releasing the game and not thinking about all those things that are stopping you from doing what you actually should be doing. So the first one, in, and one of the most important one is that the indie industry supports you. Is, you know, the indie industry is not like every other industry where, where people are competing. Indies are competing, but they're actually really supportive. So I, when I released my games, it was, it was awesome to see a lot of good comments from, you know, from some colleagues that have been creating games as well for a long time. Some people were, you know, working in AAA games. Some people were working in indie games. And, and it was amazing, like the, the messages that they were sending me and, and the kudos and, and Dilmer, good job and keep doing that, you're improving. You know, those are the things that if I wouldn't have released a game, I wouldn't have actually experienced that. I wouldn't have met so many amazing people in the, in the industry. So that's basically number one and very, very important is that the indie industry will support you. So now number two is you're never gonna have any regrets if you're releasing a game. So just think about it. If you if you look at three months from now and three months in three months as you release, and you you look at yourself actually releasing a game. So you have that vision of releasing the game. So if you think about that day, if you if you release the game and, and you work super hard, you did as much as you could, and now you see the game in the store, the game is being played by people. That is, that is something that is, is, is you know, it's, it's unexplainable on how amazing it feels. If you don't do that, if you don't release your game, you're never gonna go through that process or never regret, never have any regrets of releasing a game. That is very important. So number three, learning is huge. So whenever we make games, we're gonna be learning a lot of different things. So a lot of the things that I learned from, you know, previous games I apply of, on future games, so if you're thinking about you know making a really amazing game in the ne in the next few months in the next few years anything that you do right now towards the game that you're working on it's going to apply to the next game even though it might not be necessarily the same game you're going to be learning a lot you're going to be learning about marketing you're going to be learning about development you're going to be learning about ai you're going to be learning about every little thing you know that it's actually involved in making a game so learning is one of the key elements of you know, releasing a game and then not having any fears. So, and then the one that I really think it's very, very important in number four is that, you know, this is gonna help you on the next game. Like I said before, the reason why it's gonna help you on the next game because all the learning, you know, that you had through the previous games, you're gonna be able to apply it on the next game. You're gonna be able to use code and that's something that I actually do on some of my games is I build a core library of things that I, that I, you know, that are repetitive. So things like the leaderboard, achievements, and I have some extension methods in C-sharp that I use quite a bit. I have a game manager, I have a sound manager. I have a lot of code that is repetitive throughout the games. This doesn't necessarily mean that you're cloning your previous game. This means that you're being productive, you're optimizing your time, you're working smart. So make sure that you do these four tips and let me actually summarize them so that you know what you need to do to make sure that you overcome these fears. So number one, make sure that you avoid having fears because the industry, the indie industry is gonna support you. And then number two, never have any regrets. Number three, learning is gonna be huge while making your game. And then number four, this is gonna help you on your next game. So get those fears out of the way and then release your next game. So if you guys have any questions about this or any other topics in the indie game industry, let me know, let me know through the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this video. Thank you guys.